Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. I work as a software engineer. This video I'm going to be teaching you how to deploy AWS layers in a matter of minutes with the help of serverless framework. But without get, uh, before getting started, let me read a couple of definitions. Well, what is layers for people who don't know, right? So I have a small slide here, you know, essentially, I'm just going to uh, read about this and then I'm going to show you with the new serverless framework, you can deploy it in a matter of minutes, guys. Okay, so serverless, the de uh, serverless developer frequently import libraries and dependency into their AWS Lambda function. While you can zip these uh, dependencies as a part of a build and deployment process, in many uh, use cases, it's easier to use a layers instead. Well, why? Think about it, right? Say your uh, Lambda function one use module one and another function is also using module uh, module one, right? Without layers, you have to uh, essentially zip all these uh, individual modules in the directory and then do it. But if you see module one is being used across all the three Lambda, why can't I have a top level package that I can use across all the Lambda? Well, that's the idea of layers, right? Layers essentially helps you to do that. You create Pandas, so let's say you want to use pandas. We, we we are taking an example of pandas, right? So if you want to use pandas, you can essentially create a layers and all your functions can use pandas now, but you can just say import pandas, right? So essentially that is what um, layers is. Essentially the benefits are single package, all shared dependency. Um, you you know, you can keep the size of development small, easier um, code updates, okay? So now the, the serverless framework, right? Uh, that's, that's the idea. This is tutorial number three, part three, essentially for um, layers, okay? So if you go to the GitHub, you'll find a lab too, and I'll show you how to do that. It's very, very easy. So the first thing that you wanna do is essentially you wanna create a project, right? Um, uh, I'm gonna show you that. So in the tutorial section, there are steps how to do that, right? As you can see here, uh, you will create a project, right? Once you create a project, you will go inside the directory, right? And then I'm gonna walk you over the steps, okay? So if you come to lab two, um, you will you will essentially three see uh, you will essentially three uh, see three files: handler, the YAML file, and I think the git ignore. I want you guys to remove the handler.py, okay? Then what I want you to do is essentially go into the requirements, create a file called requirements, whatever layer you want to use. For example, I'm using NumPy, right? Um, then essentially what we got to do is in the serverless.yaml file, we have to define certain settings. And what are these settings essentially? I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, okay? So we are saying that name as AWS, we are saying the runtime that we are planning to use, that is 3.8. A plugin means think of this as a library. Serverless Python Lambda requirement is a library. You need to install that, right? Um, and if you go to the reference section, I, I have learned from one of the blog articles here, all the way on the bottom, this article essentially had all the steps and I'm essentially teaching you. It is done by Mr. Fernando Lopez, right? So that's done by him. Okay, so moving forward to the demo. Uh, so we, we define that, we define customs, right? So we essentially say that, hey, Used Dockerized true means that hey, when you create layer, your um, uh, your your the the SLS is gonna call your Docker. It's gonna do all that in the virtual container. It's gonna zip up and then it's gonna you know download and then it's gonna deploy that to your Lambda, right? So that's that. Now let me show you a demo, right? That's that's what I wanna show you. Uh, by the way, as I said, right, don't worry about the exercise file. They're all in the description, right? So you can always check the code. But understanding concepts is important, right? So if I go to layers here, I do not have any layers at this point, right? And I'm just going to say, see how easy it becomes. SLS, deploy, that's all. Uh, it takes care of the, you know, cloud formation stack. Everything is handled by this beautiful little framework. Uh, not little, I mean, it's a <laughs> big framework though. But uh, let's wait for a couple of seconds. Um, essentially then, um, so I think it's creating the cloud formation stack at this point. And then just like that, you have, you have you can create any layers you want, Python, NumPy, Pandas, this, that, any complex library in a matter of seconds. You can use my template that is lab2, right? All you gotta do uh, for any, uh, for any, uh, let's say for anyone you, uh, for any Python you need, all you gotta do is just add it in the requirements.txt. Once you add it in the requirements.txt, then all you gotta do is just say SLS deploy. That's pretty much it. So requirements, put your what layers there. Uh, uh, and then uh, whatever name, if you want to change the name, you can come here and change the name, right? I have given Python NumPy, uh, but 
feel free to give whatever you want you you like right so we'll wait for this to deploy and then i'll go to of course uh, the uh, lambda console and show you that okay so as you can see all the hassle has been taken care of by the framework right so we essentially focus on writing application logic now we don't have to worry about infrastructure and this and that uh, it does all the job for us so let's wait okay okay might take a couple of minutes here usually All right, my layers has been deployed. I'm, I'm, I can go to my console, and now you can see I have my Python MumPy um, layers, uh, which is um, for uh, version 3.8. So now I can easily add layers to my any Python code. I can just say import. Uh, so if I go back to my presentation that that I delivered in my company a um, couple of months back, essentially. So. <clears throat> Before that, the code used to look something like this. You see all these files. You had to say pip install, um, let's say whatever the library minus t dot, which means target as a current directory. And it was a problem because everything looks very, you know, I, I showed you in the image why it's not so good, right? It would look something like this, module one, module two, module three, no good guys, right? Which is why we said we wanna use layers, right? We wanna use across all the things. So we create layers, right? I uh, hope this video is useful. The entire lab is in the description, so please check that out. Uh, you can easily also remove that using SLS remove, right? Um, so yeah, hope this tutorial will benefit all, all, all the people who are watching on the internet. And as I said, right, I am a big believer. If I have learned from somewhere, I always, uh, you know, provide references. So all the references are in the uh, readme file. So do check that out if you want to go to the actual source, okay? So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming, and see you guys in the next video.